It's 9 a.m. Do you know what you're doing for your community? This week and in the lab, we're talking about business strategy and why you can't just make money anymore. Think about it. Whoever you're selling to, they're not buying your product for the price. We can buy anything we want nowadays for cheaper from somewhere else. So the reason we're buying from you is something deeper, something emotional. Uh, I love the quote, we purchase on emotion but justify with logic. So think about your future business strategy and why you need to figure out a way to care more. There's companies out there that they started small and they started giving back. Um, one of the local examples we love to talk about is Coda Clothing. We did a really cool Twitter campaign with them once, which was donate, donate clothing to Carmichael Outreach, and we'll give you a $50 gift card. And there was three gift cards up for grabs. A bunch of people were actually donating clothing, and the best part, several days later, I got a text from a friend saying, hey, are you still doing that donated clothing thing with Carmichael? I got some clothes I want to give away. We made it remarkable because somebody actually commented on it after. But you see other companies, for-profit companies doing this. Dairy Queen sponsors RCBA, Regina Community Basketball Association, to make sure all the kids walk away with a basketball at the end of the year. To me, that's amazing. Good for you, Dairy Queen. Um, some of the other ones, even uh, Atlantis in town here, they host the Next Chapter Book Club. Access Communications has the Children's Fund. Even, even commercials in 30-second spots on TV now, we're not trying to sell anymore. The most successful one, look at WestJet's campaign from the Christmas season. All it was was them giving something, uh, an underprivileged person. They were giving away a vacation. Even celebrities are figuring this out. Taylor Swift, she, she started doing surprising people and just giving things away, even if it's her time. You need to do something in the community. You're never too small to give. Don't think, don't have that fallacy that's, oh, once I'm big, I'm going to give back. It doesn't work that way. The smartest people and the best companies, they give first. And so when we were talking as a, as a business strategy from Strategy Lab, we, we always said we, want, we love working with nonprofits because they have such a good story and they're actually doing something in the community. So we put it on our clients to say, if you're not building the community, we don't want to work with you. And so some brilliant things come out of this, which KSP Technology, one of our current clients, they came back to us with, we're going to build the community. And here's what we're going to do. We're going to adopt a nonprofit. <laughs> And the angels fall. And it's an amazing moment. And it's like heaven on earth because we have a client that actually wants to make the community better by giving away what they do. They want to help a nonprofit with technology so a nonprofit can do what they do best. If you think just making profits is your end goal for your business, you're missing the point. You have to grow your community. You have to do something bigger. And if you're the small guy, this is the perfect time to start giving back. If you want help with this, call me, text me, tweet me. I want to help out too. If not, just keep subscribing to In The Lab here. Ask me questions here at Jeff Maestruck and tweet us In The Lab here. Thanks so much for tuning in. Peace be to journey.